everyone, Girly Geek here, and I'm here with episode 4 of Late Night. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have kind of like a throat thing. I don't know. I'm kind of sick, lightly sick, not really that <clears throat> not really that bad. But yeah, I hope my voice isn't really annoying. And I tried to make my audio quality better. I put a thing that should fix the, you know, like kind of staticky sound. But if it doesn't, then I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, well, one sec. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I kind of just had a cough attack. <laughs> and um, I noticed this, which I thought was really funny, is that Carmen is sick, and I'm sick. And Carmen is like a white representation of me. Except she has like these really pretty aqua eyes instead of like brown eyes, which is what I have. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I'm going to be working on getting Caitlyn some, you know, people so she can complete her Lifetime Witch wish, which is to woohoo in five different places with five different sims. And we're going to get started on that. And once again, right here, um, Luke's picture shows of him being normal instead of a vampire. But yeah. And then here it says, play a gig. I forgot what we had to do. Okay, so I guess I'll just be notified. I don't really know what they do. To be able to do that. <coughs> oh gosh. Okay. Oh, why is she slacking off? What? She should not be slacking off. She should actually hang with her cast members because that will be important later, I'm pretty sure. Actually, just go ahead and hard work. You'll get a promotion. You're actually pretty entertained. Oh my gosh, I can hear my voice being like horrible. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I just really wanted to put in film late night instead of kind of trying to get back on schedule. I really didn't want to miss this. Okay, what's this? Yeah, I'm no longer pre-recording my videos, I'm actually now filming them like on the day and editing them on the day and making the thumbnail on the day, because that takes me about an hour other than, let's say, seven hours in um, my Saturday, which I actually frankly quite enjoy playing just some things with my friends, and sometimes I film it, sometimes I don't, <coughs> and I just, yeah. Okay, so, wasn't she the cello? No, Luke was a cello. She was the piano for the band. What? Why do you want to kiss Luke? What? Huh? I'm really confused. Well, you're not. <laughs> She's not going to be dating Luke. It's kind of stereotypical for the normal girl bartender to date the, of course, vampire slash other guy in the late night let's play series and i really don't want that not because of you know just it's stereotypical it's because i need carmen to marry a celebrity and you know celebrities live over here i really wanted her to get matthew and no not that house this house no huh, i don't think she knows matthew hamming i think he lives here yep so Basically, Matthew Hamming lives in this house right here. Wait, Luke, shouldn't you be at work? Oh, you are at work. Okay, well that's good. Oh, he's having a blast, so he'll definitely get a promotion. I should probably unpause it. Okay. I'll just go normal speed for now, since I'm going to kind of take care of Carmen a bit. So... What I want to do for Carmen is right now she's getting food out of the fridge. Sometimes the apartment buildings stay like really long to load for no reason. Okay, well, if you look at her celebrity chart, which of course, her celebrity journal, sorry, um, she knows one celebrity, two but at three bars, blah, 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 all of these things. And so, one thing, well, 
Okay, so I want her to go to a bar. Nothing major. Actually, let's make it major. And we can, like, buy ourselves in. But it's not even night. Oh, no. Um, I'm probably just gonna... Um, very mixed emotions. I don't know what to do. Okay, um, like, there's so many things I want her to do, but she can't do them all at the same time. I kind of think I'm gonna have them all go out at the same time tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, like, see, I can barely see the button. But I'm probably gonna have, um, okay, let's go it loaded. Nope, it did not. Okay. This is highly annoying. What is she doing? She's going to bed. No, you're not. Well, one thing she's going to do is she's going to shower because she smells horrible. And then she's going to play... Oh, wait. Band? I never got any band suggestions because really nobody ever comments on my videos, but I don't really mind. Here we go. Not loaded. I don't really mind that much, really, though, because... I really just do these for fun. So, um, she's not gonna invite her band members or anything. She's just gonna play alone. Read how to get noticed by not being seen to return at work. Yeah, you could really use this career performance. Like, Kilo just kinda doing it because, you know, she needs a job to work, but it he really wants to be a director, you know? He's kinda like Shane Dawson, except with black hair and he's a vampire <laughs> but yeah this is his co-worker actually Matthew Hamming is his co-worker but he's <coughs> also wait he's his co-worker but not you're gonna meet your cast members because you need to meet Matthew Hamming alright <coughs> alright so I'm not sure if she knows anybody famous I know she does, but there probably is, I'm just kind of guessing that it's Luke. <laughs> so she is, of course, practicing some piano. I want her to get to the second skill level, or first, but that's loud. I want her to get her to the first, that is really loud. I need to like exit the building. Okay, it's gone. Um, I just wanted to gain like a skill or maybe two, you know. But they should be done with work soon. Who was it? It was Luke who had the skill. So I'm gonna right after work, you know. Have them what? Oh, he did buy it a sim in public. Yeah, he kind of just, whenever he's hungry, just kind of takes a bite off of Carmen. <laughs> um, he is kind of tired. So I think Luke might just stay here. And the vampire slumber. After he showers. And then he'll vampire slumber. While... Um, Caitlyn and Carmen's energy are not that good, but they're not bad either. So I'm actually going to go ahead. Has she gained a skill yet? She has. That's great. I'm going to have them head over in town to a really fancy place. Um, I don't know where the hotspot is. Um, I don't know if we can figure that out through the newspaper. But I'm just going to kind of guess it's Plasma 101 because it usually is. I'm not even gonna have them go together. I'm just gonna have them go separately because I just, I don't know, it just kind of feels more right. Have them go separately because they're, oh shoot, no, that's not the hotspot girls. We're going to the hotspot, which is the Prosper Room today. So we're going to visit the Prosper Room. And it's right next to where they live, so it should not really take them that long. Yep, they're there. Okay, so I'm going to have them go ahead, zoom in, let's see, let's find them, okay, whoa, it's 
person look oh my gosh she looked like a painting of a depressed person before she loaded in or her computer loaded in it just looked creepy okay so they're gonna head upstairs since apparently today the today this is the hot spot so they're going to head to the floor of the only one that's left and hopefully we'll meet some celebrities and all of that we just like left this go behind like yeah um you're not going in the elevator with us okay so uh, the lady needs ready to do this to me okay my s this game is like being really laggy I'm only getting like five frames this never really happens there we go that's better okay can my game load there we go okay so I'm probably gonna either have them play I don't see what's that much hot spot about this place cause there's like only two people here yep two people here are either of them famous yes <gasps> oh Matthew Hamming's here this is perfect we're gonna have to bribe our way in like we'll pay big bu bucks like We'll pay a hundred to get in there because he's our true love. <laughs> oh, no, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna marry him. What? Did he just take our money and not let us in? Ask to get in. I know he's not gonna let us. Oh great. Ugh. I really want to delete him. Cause we offered him like a huge vibe. Okay, he's going away. So we're just gonna kind of sneak into the VIP room while he's gone because that's kind of what you do. Okay, and then we're gonna actually try to greet him. Wow. It's it's actually coming. Busted. No. 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 No, you're not Oh my gosh, you see how going to leave the building? Oh my gosh, please no. No. Oh no, Carmen. This was our chance. Oh, can't let him come here. No. No, I swear, Matthew Hamming. Matthew Hamming, you're not going anywhere. Come in. Don't get a halt. Okay. So, great. Wait, I think Matthew Hamming's in the bathroom, actually. So we might actually still be able to catch him. It's not that often when you see a celebrity. Can't believe that they wouldn't let us get in. Carmen, come here now. He just peed his pants. She's gonna try to just kind of impress him, just so she can find him over at some time. She won't get with Matthew. Actually, she actually will get with Matthew Hamming eventually. Why are the two bouncers here. Oh, no, you're not going home. You're going up here. Kill him. Kill him. As soon as he gets out of there, you're gonna stall him. Okay. Pause it. Greet celebrity. You're not gonna order food. You're gonna greet the celebrity. And you're gonna stall him until... Go and greet him. Go. Oh my gosh. Carmen. 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 Oops. I did not mean to do that. No. Carmen. 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 Greet.
married the celebrity. No, he went into the elevator. No. Wait, did he? He did. No. Oh, no. He didn't make it. Caitlin's still going for it, though. Oh, man. We were so close. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, so close. So now she has to get out because the place closed. Ugh, that ruined everything. What are you doing? You're supposed to be sleeping. <coughs> ah, bless me. Okay. <laughs> oh man, we were so close to meeting Matthew Hamming. Oh man. I got her celebrity points up all the way. She saw him though. It's an improvement. I'll take what I can get. Okay, so they're both really tired. But. Skipstone? What's. Oh. <laughs> I clicked on, like, I'm like, um, what is skipping a stone? I clicked on the refrigerator. <laughs> But she is going to have a quick meal of a green salad, eat that, and then sleep. She still wants to get a tattoo, which I will totally make her get, because tattoos are pretty awesome. I mean, like, I would never get one myself, but they're pretty awesome on other people. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, she needs to get her guitar skill up because that's the she's the only one that hasn't gotten the skill up. But I really wanted to. So basically, the thing is, Carmen would get with Matthew, but then of course, Caitlin, being the person that she is, would secretly find some way to get him out while Caitlin's like, while Carmen's like, moonlighting or something. Oliver, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, um, drink some plasma juice while I tell this story. Plasma orange juice, ooh, that sounds fancy, how that? Okay, and then while Carmen is, let's say, bartending at a fancy bar, um, Caitlin would go ahead, oh, it's leisure day. Okay, and Caitlin would go ahead and, you know, woohoo with him, with, let's say, whichever spot it's required. There's actually a really secluded place right here. It's a spa, very secluded. She'll never find out. Yeah. I'm pretty sure um, Luke is kind of like the only person in Bridgeport that wakes up at 6 a.m. <laughs> Basically. Because his job only starts at 1 and then of course till 7. Yeah. We must have a pool party, except we don't have a pool and we kind of can't get one. But we can go to a club. I mean, I don't really see what we're gonna do today. We might go to just, you know, the plain park and I don't know, anywhere really, and find some victims for Caitlyn. Except she really needs to get some sleep. Oh, did he become the best boy? Yes. Best boy- oh, I- I should probably read this to you guys, they probably got notifications, I'll read those to you. Nope, it never even told me. Well, basically, he is best boy, and it says, Best boy is often not the best, and, as required by law, typically not a boy. As a lackey to the director, Scars, and even more senior best boys, it's your job to get it done, regardless of the cost of personal dignity. And hers is the same thing, except it's best girl and it's boys typically not a girl. Blah blah blah. Yeah. 
She really needs to increase her cast member skill. Oh, his is terrible. That's kind of weird. Yeah, we have a cheap TV and stuff. When will we even have this? Oh my gosh, she's had it for like three days straight now. It's crazy. Contact is really bothering me right now. Okay. Um. Okay, she is sick. Hungry, needs to use the toilet. She's sick. She's in a horrible mood. Whoa, that is so creepy. Oh my god, their feet. Oh my god. That was very disturbing. That was horrid. I wish I had screenshotted it. <laughs> okay, um, she's really not fully rested at all. She's actually not even close to fully rested. But she needs to use the bathroom, shower, and I'm actually going to have her serve some waffles while she's at it. But they're going to go out tonight. Of course, they won't go too late. Probably, of course, at around 1 or 2, where everybody has kind of just waken up. Did I skip while they were sleeping? I don't think I did. I think Oliver just woke up. Um, yeah. Uh, Carmen really wants to clean the dishes, so after she makes some waffles, I'll probably have her clean some stuff up. I'll have her work on her bartending. Of course, at night, once we find out where the hotspot is, Matthew Hamming is almost always at the hotspot, and then maybe then we will get to see him. Maybe we do have to increase our celebrity level, but, I mean, how are we supposed to get to know a celebrity if you won't let us talk him? It's kind of hard here. Ooh, did she cook before she showered or went to the bathroom? She probably shouldn't do that. She can continue that later. Okay, and then she has to shower. And then she can continue cooking. Yeah, you're not gonna throw a pool party. None of them are actually going to throw a pool party. Because that's just not gonna happen. So, I think I'm going to be getting her tattoo. And I don't even think there's a tattoo parlor, so I might just put one in. Yeah, probably will add one in. Um, I'm pretty sure there's space somewhere. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Hey, okay, so I went ahead and since she's almost fully rested and all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and have her get her tattoo. Uh, I just placed this in. It looks really weird because of the hill. Just try to ignore it. Everything just looks kind of weird because of the because this place is ultra hilly. Just hills all over the place, and it's not even Beverly Hills. <laughs> no, not funny. Okay, <laughs> okay. So she is going to go and get a tattoo because she really wanted to do that. And yeah, we're gonna get all these wishes try to get done. Or yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, Kaylin, if you're tired, why aren't you sleeping? Oh my gosh, why are you doing this to me, game? Uh, I like how she just wakes up and's like, I'm perfect. <laughs> okay, she's eating right now, but when she's done eating. She's going to go and sleep. Okay. So she is going to head to the salon. And it probably took her forever to get there. Because it kind of takes my sims forever to get everywhere. It just kind of takes them a pretty long time. So yeah. Her hunger is kind of going down. Yeah, so here, if I kind of press play, you can kind of see right here what I was talking about of what it does. Kind of looks cool though. But she's going to get a tattoo. I'm not sure how much I truly trust somebody to give her a tattoo. But she's going to get it from Lady Cook. Because anybody named Lady Cook is an amazing tattoo artist. I don't know, she just kind of sounds more like a chef or a bouncer to me instead of a tattoo artist, but, you know, it's whatever. And the thing
thing is, the sims can mess up, and <laughs> it'll be horrible if she does, because it's kind of imprinted in your sims body forever. Okay, mixing tattoo ink. I always make these light dent episodes really long, and I have to split them into two, so sorry if these are in two. <laughs> totally not on purpose, I swear. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of wondering, what best fits Caitlyn? I'm kind of thinking something tropical. Maybe some angelings? I really like this tattoo right here, to be on her lower back. You can of course change the scale. Yeah, you never really see it there. But if we put it Oh shoot. I don't know what I just did. Oh my gosh, I thought I accepted that tattoo. I would have totally died inside if I had accepted that because I'm like, no, I do not want that as her tattoo. Okay. So I'm thinking, if we put like an octopus or something. Maybe like this color or something. Let's get the scale up here. That's the city up. Oh not that much. I mean like it doesn't need to be like disappearing, but it doesn't need to be like older strong. It can be like kind of almost fully. Um, I don't know, I don't really like that one. I really like the mermaid one. I love it for her. I think it just goes so well. Especially this one. This one I kind of feel like doesn't really like relate to her, but this one I'm just like, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Um, I don't even want her to have tattoos on that area. Not her upper back. Um, I kind of want her just to get like an arm tattoo. Not really a back tattoo. Maybe a chest tattoo? That would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> um, for her, of course. Um, maybe even this. Or this. More like down there though. Like not up there. Because that kind of looks really weird. Like that's really ugly. Oh, her belly button. Yeah, I think a belly button one would be look really cool. And then she'd probably get like an arm one too. We'll just basically almost fully tattoo her body because... She wanted to get a tattoo, so what are you going to do but get her a tattoo? I actually really like that one for her belly button, but I just really feel like this one. Eh, not on her belly button. I'm not sure. Angel wings, I'm going to put on her um, lower back. Maybe this. <laughs> okay, I uh, kind of want it to be something cool, you know. Something that looks good. So, this actually looked really nice. This one right here on our belly button. I don't think in any other color would look as good as it did like that. Of course, I won't make it huge because that kind of takes all the whole fun of it being on our belly button. I'll make it like medium size. It'll make the opacity, of course, quite bright. I don't know, maybe something like that. I like it actually, I really like it. In the huge scale. <laughs> I like it. I really like that for her. So next we're going to get an arm tattoo and this arm tattoo will consist of will consist of this. Or maybe even this. I want it to be on the upper arm though. Because you know that's kinda like the woohoo sign. I kinda always forget to go ahead and take that off. I'm probably gonna get this on like her lower back or maybe her upper back. But I just think it'll look really cool. 
you're gonna have one arm be tattooed with the woohoo sign and then the other arm be tattooed with the heartbreaker sign so I'm not gonna make it like huge I'm actually gonna make it quite small but the opacity of it will be quite a bit I like it and next I'm gonna get her a on the right side still the upper arm I think it's kind of weird to get it on the same place so I might get the heartbreaker symbol right here on this area sure if I really like it. I really want it to be on her other shoulder. So I can see how it on her shoulder. I just kind of think it'll look like kind of weird because it's like both on there. I'm kind of going to be able to see it all the time actually so I don't think I want the heartbreaker one because if you think about it it's kind of going to be there forever and you're going to be able to see it in like almost all of her outfits. And I really like the woohoo one better than the heartbreaker. Just because, you know, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> okay, now her chest. We want one on her back now. And it's going to be of angel wings. Kind of false, assumingly. Now she is an angel when she's kind of the opposite. So scale, oh, uh, not lower back, no, 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 um, of course on her lower back so you can actually see it, so her lower back, and angel wings, scale will have, what, are we still on her upper back? Ugh, we are. Okay. Full back, here we go. This is what I want. I want her full back. Perfect. The opacity of it, I want it to be like precise. Yeah, she wants to get a tattoo, so I'm just kind of, you know, she is a kind of like bad girl, you know. She gets a lot of tattoos, you know. She's kind of like the rebellious slut type. <laughs> um, and then on her ankle, I'll make to be very tiny print. But something that she actually has like a passion for, but no one like you know truly has enhanced it which is for music. I'm actually going to change the color patterns because I want it to be black and white. I know, black. Shoot, black here. White there. How does that look? That looks great. And yeah. I'm not going to make it like huge. Actually, it's not that bad. I'm not going to make it really that strong because kind of looks good when it's kind of weak. See, so yeah, that's something that she like, kind of has a passion for. It's really one of her smallest tattoos. And she just kind of has a secret passion for it. Okay, I'm not liking the angel wings. Like, anything that we don't like, roll out now or forever hold our peace, basically. And I don't like it. So I'm not going to go with the angel wings. But I do like the belly button, the woohoo one, and the one on her ankle. I think those look quite nice. So yeah, she's gonna get those. Whoa, oh, rotating glitch. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think it's like forever there. There. I like it. 
I think it looks good, the tattoos. Yeah, she finally got it. Whoa, it's 3 p.m. already. I did not notice that. Well, I think 3 p.m. is late enough for them to head out to a club or a dance club. I'm going to head on to the Plasma 501. Because it's usually pretty crowded there. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they're going to go there. I kind of feel like they need some place to practice. And so I'm most likely going to send them somewhere where they'll be able to access the instruments quite easily. And so Kegelin can get an easy victim of her woohooing skills. Um, but they're all just going to go there. And if you're wondering why I never asked them to go with another sim, it's because it always goes wrong. <laughs> always end up none of the sims getting to the location. Or maybe just one of the sims, or like, it just never goes. Okay, what's this wave doing? Because I'm kind of curious. It kind of looks like it's overlapping the whole entire road. But that's probably just for math view, I'm guessing. Yeah, probably. So, he's taking the subway there, because I guess it's a quick way of transportation, unless you're taking it like a block away to just, you know, go. Place is bopping, not. Everyone must be at a different club instead that isn't dead. Well, I'm sorry that nobody's at this club. It's kind of the only place where you guys can practice, so you're gonna live with it. There's actually quite a bit of people here, actually. So it's rare that there aren't any. But it's okay, they can just practice and stuff. Oh, look under the green light like, looks actually kind of awesome. So, I'm gonna have Caitlin. Instead of ordering onion rings, I actually let her eat. Um, she's really hungry. So just let her eat. She's just gonna band, invite band members. And everybody's just gonna, gonna have a jam session. Ooh, she's not even fully rested. Well, she can rest as much as she can rest, really. You're not even gonna relax. Okay, and then... You're actually a band member. So you guys are going to have a jam session. Okay, you're going to start a jam session. Oh no, you're gonna have to join his jam session. During jam session, and whenever Caitlin's gonna get here, I mean, not Caitlin, Carmen's gonna get here any day now. She will also join the jam session. Is she playing for tips? No, she can't be. She can't play for tips. Right? Yep. Yeah, the case is just really there because, I don't know, when I explored the guitar skill, it used to be when you were level 8, you would be able to play for tips, but maybe now it's kind of any level. It might be. Is she coming? Because she seems to just never show up. It's kind of endless. Okay. So here she is. I'm surprised it won't actually let me hear him. They usually do. Well, I'm just gonna let him practice a bit because they all need to get some some practice, of course, for their band. Like nobody's here. It's almost positive there will at least be like one person. Okay, Caitlyn's gonna stop. And I don't care who it is, we're gonna find somebody. I don't care who it is, we're gonna find someone. And she needs to have her first victim. And with the woohooer thing, and I know you probably consider it cheating, but you can woohoo with acquaintances, and you can also do risky woohoo. Which, since we are, of course, doing the acquaintance, 
we're going to risk 10% every single time she loses with the sim that she might get pregnant. So is this a hot spot? I could just kind of guess. Oh my gosh, I guessed it correctly. I never guess it correctly. That's very surprising. <gasps> Matthew's here. <gasps> okay, Carmen, 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 don't freak out. Come here now. Like, run. Run. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Plus, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like kind of freaking out. Okay. Caitlin, you stall him and get. That's some big boobs. Okay. <laughs> Caitlin, you stall him until he get uh, until Carmen comes here and she can flirt with him, you know, farther than what you have flirted with him. They're just blocking the entry lane. This hairy guy is just like going around them. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, why don't they try to impress him? Talk about occupation in film. We don't really have to lie about anything really. We can be funny, not really. We can talk about our wealth. We can talk about skill in guitar. We can impress him and we can drop you know, Carmen's name because that'll totally help. Excuse me, but now is not a good time unless Unless you got what it takes to impressing another celebrity. Oh, Carmen's here. Well, well. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. You're not doing good with him. So Carmen's gonna give it a shot. So I see you're gonna take a cell phone photo, but now she's gonna greet the celebrity. And she'll impress him, for sure. I know she will. Carmen, what are you doing? Oh my god. Get him. Move out of the way. Right now, before I punch you in the face, <laughs> and you will now greet Matthew. And you can't move because you're gonna greet him. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! My, what makes him think that he's actually going somewhere? Until we go ahead and talk about our charisma skill and talk about our wealth and talk about our film career yeah you're not going anywhere go Caitlin go Carmen why do I keep saying Caitlin ooh he like he like why do we have a negative with him we barely met him Oh, that got us good. We're gonna actually do that again. If nothing works out. Ooh, he doesn't like us talking about wealth. Yeah, good. He likes that. We're gonna talk about... Once again, we're gonna to... We're not gonna take a cell phone photo. About film. You guys do not know how excited I am right now. She's like, no joke, about to impress him, and then we can do some romantic interactions. <sighs> yes. Yas, girl. Okay, gal, Carmen North. I admit that I'm kind of impressed. We should hang out more. We will. Okay, so we are- oh, yeah. We're not going to woohoo yet. We're actually going to do some- ask about age. That's probably a good thing to know. And we're just kinda gonna, you know, let's kinda ask about his gender preferences, consider his attractiveness, It's kinda celebrity gossip, you know, ask if he's single maybe, probably be a good thing to do, even though I know he's single. Why not? Uh, I'm still excited. What did she say? Noticed by paparazzi. Well, yeah, we're with Matthew Hamming. What'd you expect? I'm really glad we got him before he went into the VIP zone. We got really lucky. I don't really care what she does. Okay, so she's gonna just be more friendly, you know, compliment him, get to 
know him. Um, high five. You know, maybe just kind of share a secret. Um, ask a sign. Convince to kiss Od Perry. <laughs> oh, that's the paparazzi. Oh gosh. Friendly gossip. Then we're gonna start kind of going a little bit towards the romantic side. Oh my gosh, what happened? What trading comfortability? What is she? she she's socially awkward. What? Um, that's not that big of a deal. Oh shoot, do not hit at the moment, kiss. Lucy Stryker is filthy rich? Yeah, I kind of guess. He's, you know, like, kind of famous. <laughs> so then she's just, just gonna kind of flirt with him. She's kind of hungry, but she can wait. Oh my god, he just peed himself right in front of us. We don't care. We're gonna flirt with you even more. Because we're that kind of person that if you pee your pants in front of us. Oh shoot, did she click we're here the moment kiss? No, th that was a flirt. Oh, that was it. Okay. What? Why is she being awkward? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Missed the opportune time. Social success is all about timing. Oh my well, at least we know him, and we can call him, I think. So at least that. Okay, everyone else is in a terrible mood except Carmen. Really? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We actually got pretty far this time. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Go Geek, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.